Bible space time. Is there a time that God also has to follow? There is a time that closely connected to God, but God is not under the time. God himself is the time. I am the Alpha and the Omega, says the Lord God, who is, and who was, and who is to come, the Almighty. Revelation chapter 1 verse 8. So, that means, time is not just a length of interval from one event to other event. No. It is not. Bible definition of time is not a duration of an event. God is the Alpha and Omega, not because he has been existing for a duration of time. Time is not an external matter to God. It is a part of God's nature. I learned that God created everything in this space of time. Yes. On the first day of the creation God created the time for the earth, and he created other things in the space of time. So, time is a structure and forms a space that can host physical matters, such as the universe. And the universe is regulated by the structure of the time of God. If the universe is created in the space of time, and the time is the nature of God, then there is no need of Big Bang to create a space, because God is the Alpha and Omega, the source of the time. Yes. We cannot separate the time from God. The existence of God is the existence of time, just like love of God. Yes, God is love and we cannot separate love from God. Love is the nature of God. Yes. We cannot block the love coming from God, because God himself is love. Wherever we are, whatever we do, we are under care of God's love all the time. The only way we can resist the love of God is acting against what God wants us to. Sir, when we commit a sin by transgressing the law of God, we are resisting the love of God. Yes. We cannot change the love of a God but we can resist the love by acting against what God wants us to do. Then, how can we go against the time of God? As we cannot change the love of God, we cannot change the time of God either. Time is also a nature of God. So, the only way we can deny the time of God is denying the time of God by attempting to change the time of God. I see, that's why in Daniel wrote, he will speak against the Most High and oppress his holy people, and try to change the set times and the laws. The holy people will be delivered into his hands for a time, times and half a time. Daniel chapter 7 verse 25. But, how do you know that Daniel is referring to the times and the laws of God? John also wrote about this event, that involves a time, times and half a time in Revelation chapter 12 verse 13 and 14. John said that the dragon, the Satan will try to change the times and laws, so it should be the time and the law of God, because there is no need for Satan to attempt to change a holiday or memorial days of a certain country to fight against God. When will the dragon try to change the times and the laws? According to the Bible, Satan will start doing that from the period of a time, times and half a time until the time that the services in the most holy place is finished, at the time of the end. It is said that, both the court will sit, and his power will be taken away and completely destroyed forever. Then the sovereignty, power and greatness of all the kingdoms under heaven will be handed over to the holy people, of the Most High. His kingdom will be an everlasting kingdom, and all rulers will worship and obey him. Daniel chapter 7 verse 25 to 27. The court is the court in heaven, because it is about the final judgment day to destroy the evil forever and the court in heaven is the most holy place of the heavenly sanctuary. Is the court day a specific time point, or a duration of a time period? If we following the time of the heavenly sanctuary it is a timeless event of God, but when this timeless service of God is applied to the time of the earth, it creates a duration of time, because we are living in one dimensional time structure, so, in our time, it is a period of time. Therefore, from the time of a time, times and half a time to the end of the services in the most holy place, Satan will continually try to change the time and the law of God. That's why John wrote, Here is the patience of the saints. Here are they that keep the commandments of God, and the faith of Jesus. Revelation chapter 14 verse 12. Why is it important to keep both the commandment of God and the faith of Jesus? The universe is made of the time and the law of God. The law of God is not an added regulations but the founding structure of the universe. A house has walls, rooms, 
roofs, or doors. We don't call these parts of the house as a rule, and each part of the house has their own functions. We go out through a door, not through a wall. But we don't consider that as a rule, the law of God is like that. It is the structure of the universe, not a rule. And it is the faith that could enable us to fit into the structure of the universe, because of sin, we lost the harmony with God. Our nature has become unfit into the structure of the law of God, but through faith we can be remolded into the image of God, so that we could naturally fit into God's world. Bible explain this process as the righteousness by faith. Keeping the faith of Jesus is the way of receiving righteousness that make us possible to keep the law of God. We cannot keep the law of God by our own efforts or conviction. We do not have the ability to do that. It is only possible through the faith of Jesus. So by connecting to Jesus through faith we will be born again with a new heart that perfectly fits into the word of God. I see, that's why the angel proclaimed that, Fear God, and give glory to Him, for the hour of His judgment has come, and worship Him that made heaven, and earth, and the sea, and the fountains of waters. Yes, God, the Alpha and Omega, the creator of the universe, is the only one who can recreate us to fit into the harmony of the Word of God. So by connecting to the time of God through the faith of Jesus, our time could be restored into the time of the Word of God. Thank you for watching Bible Space Time.